I remember when I started PC gaming. I bought a GTX 750 Ti for like 120 bucks and was able to run GTA 5 at great settings and played all those awesome new games like Witcher 3 and I had a blast. Remember when you could do that? Because these days it's looking impossible to buy a graphics card at any affordable price. And it's especially frustrating because I've always been one to say PC gaming is cheaper than console, but at this point, what is going on? I'm Tommy from Vectech, thank you for joining me, and we're going to figure out if graphics cards will ever be affordable again. And unfortunately, the truth behind why they're so expensive is more sinister than you think. Now I'm a channel all about sharing the truth, if you like that, hit that subscribe button, otherwise let's get into this. So what happened that made graphics cards so expensive? I'm sure many of you watching can remember hearing about it, but PC gaming used to actually be cheap, like really cheap. Seriously, graphics cards were not starting at nearly $600, so what changed? Well, it's actually a complicated answer. The thing that initially made them so expensive isn't really a thing anymore, and there's actually a more sinister reason behind the prices. So initially, the prices boomed because of that huge cryptocurrency thing, if you remember that. But as you might notice, a lot of that has really died down and isn't really a big thing anymore. So what's going on? Well, a combination of AI explosion caused a ton of graphics cards to be bought up. Many people don't know this, but most AI centers are being ran by literally graphics cards due to their ability to process AI equations. And and it doesn't help that these cards are being optimized for AI now with those new AI cores in both AMD and Nvidia graphics cards shipping to you every day now. But also that hype kind of died down, so what's the real reason for these prices? The truth is greed. Nvidia and AMD, they're pricing it like that just because they can. They're choosing to price them that high. That's not a joke, that's not me being dumb. Both Nvidia and AMD could both drop their prices, but they just kind of refuse to. Honestly, I'm giving AMD a lot more leniency here because the top end Nvidia card is literally $3,300, and basically the most expensive AMD graphics card is like $1,000. So we can certainly say Nvidia took a mile after we gave them an inch. But as we all know, AMD is releasing a new budget-friendly GPU with Nvidia, and they have seemed to price it kind of high in my opinion with an estimated $300 to $400 range, so they're not entirely saints or angels here either. Honestly, I get it. These companies have overhead, right? They can't give us these graphics cards for free. But many sources estimate that NVIDIA is making almost thousands of dollars in profit per graphics card sold. AMD is estimated to make about a 30% profit on each graphics card, which is kind of more in line with things, but certainly making thousands of dollars on profit on a graphics card probably had your jaw drop too, right? Honestly, when I was researching for this video, I wasn't expecting that. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand there's overhead on building the card and research and development, and these sources aren't exact, and they're just estimations based on NVIDIA and AMD shareholder profit reports, but isn't it shocking that for the RTX 5080, they can be making nearly $1,300 of profit a year? unit when it costs nearly $2,000 for you to buy. So if that didn't open your eyes that this is all greed because certainly they don't need to be making $1,300 a profit a unit, they can certainly like cut that in half and still be happy. Now you're probably like, all right, Tommy, how do we stop this? What do we do? So it's a simple answer, but it's easier said than done. It's to stop buying, it's to promote competition and to voice your concerns online. And it's already been working a little bit already. AMD has seen a huge market surge increase since Nvidia's new graphics card release. And the last couple couple months, AMD gained 7% of the total graphics card market share, which is actually like a ton when you think about that, especially because that's almost double than what they had before. That's right, only 10% of estimated graphics cards being used were AMD graphics cards. Now it's nearly 20%, and I estimate that number to be much higher with the even higher price increases by NVIDIA as of late. I just can't see budget PC gamers buying any NVIDIA cards right now. It just doesn't make sense. I think they're going for the AMD, and I think their market surge is just exploding right now. Now, simply put, if you keep doing this and supporting the competition, they will be forced to lower the prices. The problem is people keep convincing themselves with all due respect that they need to spend nearly $3,500 on a graphics card despite it not being worth anywhere near that, and this only encourages the behavior from NVIDIA. And I get it, it's tough. I wanted a very nice graphics card when I finished college as a like reward for myself, but due to the prices, I just accepted I wasn't going to do that. The fact of the matter is, if I spend $3,000 on that graphics card, yeah, it'd be a great graphics card, but it'd be a huge waste of money. On the other hand, I can just spend $1,000 on an AMD graphics card, get a very great gaming experience too, and save $2,000 for literally anything else. And I feel like the value was there for the AMD GPU, like it was a good value for the performance I was getting. But I don't feel the value's there for the RTX 5090, like $3,000 is not a good value for that card. Now you, the viewer, affect this. When you're building your next PC, make the choice to get the best value card and don't spend all
all that money on a card that's not worth it. It will make these companies change their policies and prices, and I see this every day as a PC gaming YouTuber. We do see trends where you see these sudden price cuts, and they happen very quickly as the market pulls back. And your outrage does work. Remember last year when people were so mad on social media that Nvidia literally canceled one of their graphics card releases because it was so bad? Your voice does matter. And again, it's not like you choosing to buy AMD or the competitor is some downgrade. They've been doing very good for value-based graphics cards and it'll save you a ton of money and keep you very happy. What about tariffs? So many people are concerned about tariff prices affecting the graphics cards. While it's a true concern, I would hold a reasonable amount of caution with it. It seems the US president has changed his mind many times and has supposed created exceptions for graphics cards and tech, but this seems to change every day in ebbs and flows. I could be wrong, but I don't see a long-term tariff for these graphics cards that will last long at all. I think we've seen more of a trend of them just being put on for a few days and then being pulled. So if that's the case, just wait for it to be over, but keep up with the news as it seems to change every single day. So let's wrap it up. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll ever see the prices of 2015 again, but the graphics cards can and will certainly get lower as long as the consumers stop enabling Nvidia to do it. It's as estimated they're making record profits on these graphics cards. And come on, especially when they're charging $3,000 for a 5090, that's like a whole car. That's like a whole vacation. Like, don't waste that on a graphics card. Go with your wallet, make your voice heard, and these prices can and will come down to be more affordable. In the meantime, AMD has been releasing very powerful graphics cards for cheap. It's hard to not buy them when some of them are running way faster than Nvidia cards at much lower prices. So tell me what you think about this in the comments below. Do you think graphics cards will ever be affordable again? What are your thoughts on the whole situation? I'd love to have kind of like a discussion board down there and let's hear each other's thoughts on this. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like on the video and if you want more PC gaming content, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you a part of the VecTech team. Take care.